Hello again, my name is David Watts from Lenovo Press and I have with me today Hamil Perot from Emulex. How are you doing Hamil? I'm doing fine, thank you. So today we're going to be talking about the new Emulex VFA 5.2 adapters for System X. These are 10 gig Ethernet adapters. Um, Hamil, so tell us about these. We have two two different uh, variations of the adapters. Uh, what are they? That is correct. We have a uh, ML2 version of the adapter, uh, which, uh, which is the, this adapter here. Mm -hmm. And we also have a standard PCIe version of the adapter, which is this one right here. And they're both 10 gig uh, Ethernet adapters, two port? These are both two port 10 yep. gig Ethernet adapters, with the biggest difference being with this adapter, it can act as a uh, LOM. If there is no LOM on the motherboard, this adapter can act as a LOM, and hence we call it the mezzanine LOM or MLOM. So this is the MLOM form factor, which uh, has uh, Nixie sideband capability for communicating directly with the IMM. So that is the key feature of this adapter compared to the standard PCIe adapter, which is just right. like uh, the same functionality of any other PCIe adapter. Okay, okay. Yep, so um, these are the VFA 5.2, the second generation VFA 5. So what are the key differences with the second generation VFA 5 versus the current ones we have now? Okay, so the first key uh, difference between the current generation VFA5 and this one is the uh, X-Clarity support or the improved X-Clarity support mm -hmm. with, uh, with these adapters in that uh, in this version of X-Clarity we can not only support the uh, inventory management to uh, scan what is on the system but also to do firmware updates. So with this adapter and its uh, improved X-Clarity support we can do firmware updates to the point where uh, a uh, user can provision and update the firmware on, on the adapter, but also, more importantly, do configuration management. In that, if you have a bare metal server with nothing else on it, uh, the X-Clarity allows the user to uh, find this adapter and provision a certain configuration on it so that a bare metal system can be configured just like any other system that is already deployed in the data center. So that is a key feature that is added on, on top of the previous uh, support for X-Clarity. And th these adapters also support now Rocky V2, right? That is correct. So uh, the, uh, the first generation supported uh, Rocky and the second generation supports Rocky V2. The main difference between Rocky and Rocky V2 is the Rocky V2 supports uh, network communication across multiple networks, or across multiple tenants, in that it is truly uh, taking over the functionality of a layer three switch and uh, is able to communicate across networks in the data center. Very good, very good. Okay, so now we have here the X3650 M5 from Lenovo. Um, Tell me, where do these adapters fit in? Uh, these adapters fit into uh, this uh, riser uh, mechanism here. Uh, specifically, the ML2 adapter would go in like this into this ML2 slot that is at the, uh, the lower end of this riser, uh, just like that. Mm -hmm. and, and the uh, PCIe adapter would go into the standard, one of these two standard PCIe slots just like that. So servers such as the 3650M5, um, this one has uh, one riser card with three slots. Um, it supports two riser cards for a total of six slots if you have two processors installed. Um, the, the server supports one ML2 but up to five of the regular PCIe slots. So uh, really a lot of um, network capability here. Now each adapter uh, supports NIC virtualization, right? That is correct. So that's four virtual NICs Four virtual NIC per ports per port. Per physical port. Right. That's correct. And Four of course, each of these adapters is a two port card. So that means each adapter can support eight virtual NICs. That is correct. Yep. So then if you've got 16, six adapters, then you've got a significant amount of, of uh, virtualized um, network, in, network interface capability in the server. Very good. Okay. Um, so now the, um, the, server, the adapters, I should say, also support FCOE and iSCSI, right? the adapters support full FCOE and iSCSI offload capability, um, further reducing the uh, burden on the CPU utilization compared to the previous generation. And these are enabled through features on demand, right? Absolutely correct. Yes, you, uh, a user would use a FOD key provided by Lenovo in order yep. to um, yeah. uh, implement FCOE or iSCSI. Offload. There's actually, there's, there, as well, there are two physical variations of the VFA 5.2. There are actually two part numbers available in this form factor. This is the regular PCIe card. So one part number will give you um, the FCOE and iSCSI available as an FOD option. 
Whereas the other part number, the advanced card. The advanced version of this adapter will have FCO and iSCSI capability already right. built in and supported. Right. So depending on your needs, you can either get the FCO and iSCSI capability um, installed at the factory through the advanced adapter, or you can add it after the fact through FOD. All right, thanks very much for that. So there you have it. Uh, there's plenty more information available on these cards um, in the product guide, and I've put a link to the product guide in the description for the video. Thanks very much, Hemel. Thank you, David. Yep. Hope you found the video useful, and we'll see you later.